I think that's what's really important about China nowadays is the way that pe Chinese people embrace and enjoy, whether it's calligraphy, whether it's food, whether it's painting, whether it's climbing up mountains. It's, in it's really interesting for people to hear how Chinese people see their own culture, um, especially nowadays. Um, having, you know, China has gone through so many difficult times and the fact that since the Cultural Revolution ended, they've been able to reassess their culture and look at their culture again and enjoy their culture. Where you might go to a place that produces porcelain, obviously um, Jingdezhen is very well known, especially for the blue and white, the Qinghua porcelain. And there we can see how people used to make, you know, the traditional ways of producing porcelain. When the court, court life changed and they no longer made those commissions, then they were quite, you know, they were flexible and they started to produce export ware. And then the museums are fantastic um, treasure troves, really. Um, so somewhere like the Shanghai Museum has been very well designed. Rather than historical, it's thematic. So one of my favourite rooms there is obviously painting and calligraphy, which I really love. People will come to me with tears in their eyes saying, I never thought I would see the Great Wall. Or somebody who loves bamboo, belongs to Bamboo Society, will see, as I just mentioned in the Shanghai Museum, a painting of a bamboo and you can see the tears come to her eyes so I find those those kind of moments really quite precious and I hope that and I think that people enjoy those too